everyone. I am so happy you guys love my uh, mushroom video. And Daughter of God 177 asked me if I was thinking of maybe making a, like a veggie or a mushroom stock with the stems. And I says, what a great idea. I've been throwing them away like a duh. I'm the one who always says, don't throw this away and don't throw that away. It didn't even cross my mind to make a little stock. So here I am. It smells fantastic. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's simmering very low. And I just wanted to show you it smells and tell you that it smells. I just wanted to show you and tell you that it smells fantastic. And if you stick around, I am going to put up a video of my puff mushroom um, mushroom balls, which is uh, another fantastic find. But we found this last year and never put up a video for it. So if you stick around, you're going to see a video of the uh, the puff mushrooms that we found. We were ecstatic when we found them and they are also delicious. So if you've never seen them before or you've come across them, uh, just by looking at this video, you'll have an idea what they look like. And that could be another one that you guys can uh, can pick. So thank you and uh, keep watching and you'll see that video that I never put up uh, last year. So thank you for sticking around and thank you for all the lovely comments, guys. So here we go. I am slightly what you call excited. Now look at my food processor, how big that is. Now look what I have next to it. Look what we found on our walk today. Now here's an example of this, my hand next to this puff ball. Look at that one. My daughter spotted these first small ones and then we looked over to the right and these monsters were out there. So can you say we're going to be eating mushrooms? Look how big. That's a small one. Erica, you want to just hold that one up? Just to oh. show how big. Look at the size. Look at the size of this mushroom. Now these, when you pick these, they have to be white. You don't pick them if, and when you cut them in, they have to be also white inside. Uh, if they go yellow or if they're green or brown, do not touch them. So when you're picking puff balls, make sure you know what you're picking and then enjoy them. I'm going to show you later on. I'm going to cut one open and we're going to cook it up and show you what a beautiful mushroom this is. So here I am. I'm really excited. We got some nice mushrooms and we're going to enjoy dinner. Here we go. Uh, yeah, can you bring it to me? I just washed two of the smaller ones and here it is make sure to get all the dirt off now if you come across these mushrooms look how big it is this is a small one it's as big as a honeydew if not bigger these are one of the small ones I have the other ones are so big I can't even describe how big they are so I'm gonna manage uh, to put I'm gonna try and get some I'm gonna put them either under oil in jars or I will give them a semi, uh, a semi uh, cook, and then put them in the freezer for future. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this. Okay, we're gonna start off with just cutting off the end, and that's what you want. You want it to be white and perfect. Now this piece here, I mean, I could have just cut off the little bit and use that for cubing. Because the more you save, the better it is. So there it is. This is still good. And this is going to go into, uh, I could actually, since it's washed, I could put this in the freezer and I could use it for broth. So that's what I'm going to do because I did clean it off. I could just simply cut off the butt end carefully and have this, put this in a bag in my freezer. So when I make a broth, I have some mushroom for flavoring. So there you go. And look how beautiful. Now you have a choice. You could cut them nice and thick like this and you can make mushroom steaks. You could actually take this and make like a, a vegan French toast with it. If you follow my French toast recipe, you could actually dip this in and then cook it with the, uh, the mushroom. Or if you don't want to make steaks, 
you could take a knife and just make slivers and just fry it up in the in a pan. You could fry them with onions, you could fry them with garlic, you could just put steak spice. This is what we're going to do to ours, olive oil and steak spice, and that's how we're going to eat it. But look how beautiful I want some these are. Chicken spice on mine. You want chicken spice on yours? No problem. So here I'm going to cut these up. And again, you don't have to cut them thick if you don't want. You could cut them thinner and make them almost like a little crepe. And then you can roll stuff with it. But I'm going to cut them nice and thick. And this is how we're going to eat it tonight. And this is going to be dinner, believe it or not, guys. Now, if you are... Um, if you are eating raw, what you still have to cook it one way or another. Now, if you're going to eat raw, rather than cooking it in a pan, what you're going to do is you're going to um, marinate it in some lemon juice. And what the lemon juice does is actually cook the mushroom. So, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to say, I did already, I'm going to save the butt end, and what I'm going to do is cube this for future, future cooking. Okay, here's my other one, I'm going to take off that end. There we go, still very beautiful. And I'm just going to save this. I'm going to cut off the, the dirt part. And put the rest in for either brat or... There, I hate to waste mushrooms. So this is going to go in with the pieces. And here we go. We're going to make slices. Erica, do you want complete slices or do you want me to make... Uh, There we go, that goes there. And we're gonna have mushroom coming out of our ears tonight for dinner. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out my grill. And again, if you don't wanna make steaks, you can make cubes, you can deep fry these, you can just pan fry them, you can saute them with onion, without onion. It really is up to you. Just cook it as you would cook a mushroom. The only thing is that, look at the size of these things. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, off to the side. There we go, get this nice and hot, and then I'll be back and I'll show you how I cook them. Okay, sorry, I was talking to myself. I didn't even turn on the camera like a dodo bird that I am. Is that too much? Uh, no, that's perfect. Uh, what I did was, I'm going to show you right now, just brush it with some olive oil. Very simple. They brush very easily. Flip it over, brush the other side. Now you don't have to, if you want to be more calorie conscious, I guess you don't have to put any oil, just you can even use lightly, butter. yeah, well, really, vegan, you, vegan you, butter. You really, well, yeah, vegan butter, obviously. You really don't care about and, your... <laughs> Yeah, and my daughter sprinkle on this side the chicken powder and the other side of my grill. I'm going to lift it up, I'm going to show you. I could only cook so many on this grill. I should have done it out on the barbecue, but I was too excited. So I'm going to show you anyhow. Trying to do this without, so there you go. Steak spice on that side, chicken spice on this side, and this is going to be like a steak, steak mushroom. Erica, you want to put some salt? Just a little bit of salt. Yeah. Is this like get hot? Yes. Just a little bit of salt, and these babies are going to be perfect, perfect, perfect for salt? dinner. Yeah, you can put some smoked, uh, smoked salt. And that's how easy it is. So I'm going to cook these up, guys. And then I'm going to show you what they look like once they've been cooked. Okay, so here we go. I cut this one in uh, long strips. And I'm going to cook this in a pan with a little bit of onion. And uh, that's another way you can cook this mushroom. How beautiful are they? They taste like tofu. I'm still working on that one. I'm eating that one. And I wish you could just see the texture inside. Just like tofu. I'm eating it with some sriracha sauce. I've got them going in my pan. And as soon as they brown on both sides, they go into my grill. But this time I close it down and I get all the water out. 
And then I flip them and I just keep pressing them down and I'm gonna put these in the freezer, believe it or not, for later on. But yeah, so that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you ever get a chance to find a puff ball, pick them up. Make sure though, if you're not sure, just do a little research. Make sure they don't have any gills. And uh, yeah, it should just be one beautiful puff ball and it should be white. Very spongy like. Very spongy like. So very, very delicious. Once they cook, it's like having, it's like eating tofu. It has no flavor. It picks up whatever flavor you put on your mushroom. So I hope you like this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. There you go. These ones are just cut up in slivers. My daughter already ate almost playful. Yeah. Cut them down. And there you go. Mmm. Tofu. Delicious. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.